Sivas Parkham. Parabellum. Ah, the community here on Tribune again, and well, all of you accustomed to this channel, yeah, you will notice where is the dude to my right hand side? Well, my son is a little sick today, so the episode is up to me, uh, and I hope I will fulfill the job good enough. Uh, the game of today is called uh, False Friends. Well, and yeah, at first I'd like to introduce to you what we are going to do on this channel. We play the tactical board game Tribune if you like chess. Well, then you're completely right here because this game is amazing. Um, you will have all the known facets of tactics you know from chess, but a bunch more. Uh, how is this game designed? Well, you have these pieces like from checkers. And at first I introduced to you the slave. It's a servus. Well, this is a Roman battle. Tribune pugna pro canai. The Battle of Cannae took place somewhere 200 years before Christ or what. And uh, the Car uh, Carthaginians and the Romans had a huge battle. And Hannibal, some of you will know, uh, was a tactical mastermind. And uh, this was a battle where the Romans really got a... Yeah, smack. Um, well, you have the Savos. Um, walking like uh, the pawn in chess and attacking slantwise. Uh, if you stack two of them up, then you have a spearsman attacking on the same color complex. Uh, if you have three of them, then you have an archer shooting like a circle around himself. Uh, if you have four of them stacked up, well, then you have an equus. It's like a bishop somehow in chess. Uh, the next Available unit is the uh, ballista, six pieces high. You will notice, well, there is no unit of five. This has some tactical implications. And this ballista is, well, it's walking like the Equus does. Yeah, the turquoise fields. And it is attacking like maybe the rook in chess. Uh, you can just go on the red circles. You cannot actually go on these golden rings because uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just showing you the way it attacks. And if there is an enemy, then you can take and and place your unit there. Okay, and if you have the last unit, this is a Centuria, very powerful and uh, this is a beast but usually very seldom on the board okay um and i would say let's uh, repair the board back to normal and we will commence the game of today as i said it is the name uh false friends and let's find out why i began the game by creating another sagittarius on my right let me adjust the board a little. Uh, by the way, if you go down to the description below, you will find everything. The link to the Tabletop Simulator, where you can play our DLC free for uh, free online. Uh, you will f uh, find all the, uh, let's say, uh, the manuals and the stuff, the board to print out. So you could play actually now Tribune online or you can contact us via Tribune. Uh, ppc at gmail.com or visit our homepage tribune.org yeah okay enough for now uh, Max yeah Max went for a central approach he uh, created another Sagittarius in the center and I went straight up I had no intention leaving this Sagittarius here I wanted a rider a rider on the dark hexes because if someday this one is coming here, he's putting huge pressure on this diagonal and you cannot really move all the units free. So that was my intention. And Max had this yeah, usual hip hop around, uh, creating some basic units, but 
This time, you know, it's a little awkward what he does. Normally, he tries to get rid of the savvy, because if you have scattered all these tiny units, they are not that mobile. And, um, well, you're a little clogged and, and stuck and you cannot move as free as you may want if you want to develop your army. Uh, so he usually tries to merge them. Uh, you will maybe notice here some kind of a triangle here. This is uh, called a symmetry in Tribune and this way you can combine up a little faster and that's exactly what he did. Yeah. Um, you can all read down in, in the manuals why this was a legal move. I tried to build a little in the center, bringing another uh, Hestatos here, defended a little, but he's actually not attacked at all. So he can keep his position. Max thus mirroring me. Uh, so far, no pressure. Uh, I'm on the light axis, he's on the dark axis, and uh, well, I'm putting the first pressure on this dude. Okay, with a Sagittarius, this is a toothless lion, because if you take, then you gain two pieces, and if he retakes, because this one is guarding and this, so he has a defensive power of three plus two, five, uh, he could take my Sagittarius entirely and I will lose uh, a lot of a lot of uh, material even though I have backup but his defense is sufficient see I would I would lose three he would put put this one here and if I take he can retake uh, this is definitely not a good exchange for me now he is bringing all, as I mentioned before, bringing all these tiny pieces together. Uh, look, he has just two savvy uh, left. I have three. Normally I'm the one who's scattering around a lot of them and, and eventually I lose. But this time, well, I, I went for a different approach, I have to say. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? The Ballista staring down into the enemy position, putting some pressure there. Uh, can I move? Not really. I'm a little limited. You see, just two turquoise fields. I'm blocked everywhere. Um, and actually, what is Max doing? Yeah, he's going for these light hexes because he knows my Tribune is on the light hexagons. And if one day this ballista will, let's say, go here, then he could maybe strike. Not actually, it's still defended by this archer, but, well, this dude is not feeling comfortable at all. Okay, uh, if you wonder why sometimes the images on top of these piles change, it's due to I'm repairing the board. Um, yeah, because if, if we go some sidelines, putting these pieces on, on different spots, then, well, it's not the actual game, right? Okay. So, yeah, here comes the move, as I mentioned before, taking this diagonal, putting um, some decent pressure on this Sagittarius here. And, well, let's see how Max defends. Well also a very decent move now protecting this one but having the first eye out on my position still this one is defended but yeah that's how you develop in tribune and in chess what are you doing you develop your light pieces your knights your bishops and you try to uh, build some kind of a pawn barrier then at some point you bring out the queen and eventually the rooks, and you try to pressure the diagonals, the files, and so on. And as I said, it's the same thing in Tribune. Now there is a second ballista on the board, also staring down, and already these two center files are hot. 
They are burning, right? I am instigating on these, and he'd better do something about it. Well, and he does. Here comes the first Equus. Oh, hops. This was a wrong move. So here comes the first Equus. Staring down this Twilight Hexagons. Twilight or Grey Hexagons. And well, what could he do? If it would be his turn, he could just simply take four pieces. And this would be bad. See, just losing four pieces without getting a good position or counterplay at all. This is not good. So, I have definitely to address this threat. And I do. And I do. Offering it an exchange in equity. Uh, equity is a plural form of equus. Um, well, he could take. But this ballista is defending and if I take then I still get the central file and it is bad news so let's see what he did yeah nothing at all ah by the way here was the second Equus the second Equus pointing at this Equus and defended by these two in the backyard now he's blocking but is it a good decision? I don't know. We have a lot of pressure on this Hastatus. We have this Equus from here and another one from here. And maybe at some point the Ballista could strike in and playing a major role in this avalanche attack. And now he is striking. The first Equus has fallen off the board. Ah. Max will... No! This is an amazing move. This is a Zwischenzug, as you know maybe from chess as well. He's not taking right away. He could have taken three pieces. But no, at first he claims the now open file and threatens my Tribune and says, Hey, what? You're taking my Aquas? But who's guarding your Tribune, right? Well... I'm guarding my Tribune. And see, this is... Uh, this is a failure. This is what you can do in Tribune. You cannot just move your king anywhere, but you can merge the Tribune with soldiers around. So he's taking his elite group. He is forming them and saying, hey, come on, now we are raiding together because I am a leader of the army, but I'm not such kind of a leader standing somewhere in a tent and saying everyone has to go to the battlefield. No, I'm going on the battlefield myself. I'm taking my sword, or in this case my bow, because now this unit behaves like a Sagittarius, right? And I'm not on the file anymore, so yeah, he, he is cutting off this file, and he is threatening the whole file. But he cannot go anywhere, because the Ballista can just attack on the file. It cannot move there. Say, something like that, for example, is just a forbidden move. Okay. So, what happens next? Yeah, now he's in the, in, in the driver's seat. See, now he's not taking care of this dude at all. He's just putting pressure and pressure onto my Tribune. He's hunting me mercilessly around. But see, now I'm on the Light Hexes. And what is he going to do about this? Is there another Angor situation? Uh, by the way, Angor is like Czech in, in, in chess. Yeah, Angor is its Latin for fear. Uh, fear means, well, you are under attack, right? So he's crouching a little, little nearer. But this time it's, it's not an Unger situation. And thus I have maybe some time to breathe. This dude is under pressure, okay? And it is not defended at all. 
So, how do I address this threat? Counter. Counter. Just offering an exchange in Ballistai. He can take? We can take. We have a giant stat on. And what is he going to do? He cannot place this one here. I mean, the Ballista couldn't do anything about it. But this dude from behind is still covering the Grey Hexagons. Hmm. Okay. So we will see. Anyway. And see, this is so huge about this game. You can move a piece by using units around, ever creating new units, and seemingly move against the rules. Because the Ballista from... I mean, we can... We can Look at the travel, just just the, the ballista. It started on the on the dark hexagons. Then by combining it went to the grey hexagons. And by combining again it went to the light hexagons. It just this is unreal. Now the ballista arrived and I have to do something about it. But for the moment I would say I'm safe. Behind this gigantic wall of towers covering my tribune. And what is he going to do? Yeah, bringing some more folks to the party. I tell you, this is... Yeah, this is a threat. He can now go here, threaten this dude. He can maybe form another ballista somewhere. Um, but he has to keep an eye out. I'm still lurking in the dark. Okay. And so I'm going all in. I'm saying, hey, okay, let's merge everything, every, every tiny bit of my army together to bring all the firepower I have to the front line. And he's chopping down the first one of my men has fallen. And he's in. See, he's in. Now he's pressuring this Equus, who was so satisfied about his situation. He was standing in the, the far away corner, just targeting somehow the Tribune. But now there's a Ballista. And see, I have no unit that can deal with this threat. Okay, so now I have to do something about it. And I definitely do. I'm going ahead. Now I am the one who's calling the shots. I am still maintaining my position on this diagonal. But this time I attack here. I wonder where the difference would have been if I just would have gone here. I think I wanted the Equus a little way more ahead. But I cannot say for sure. And he is... Oh my goodness. He's doing it again. See. Step by step. Just tiny little steps. And... Don't forget about these equities here. They still cut away some decent fields. I cannot use actually with my Tribune. The white, the white fields here are blocked by my own units. This field is cut away. And so the only legal fields would be here. I'm glad, I'm really glad that these two dudes are actually protected by this ballista. And this one by this ballista. Right? This is... But here's the difference. If I would have gone here, this move wouldn't have been possible. So maybe it was a little mistake to go this far ahead. Okay. So now what I am doing... Oh, here is a third ballista. Again offering an exchange. He's sliding back. Sliding back, but instantly 
again targeting my Tribune. I'm jumping away, hiding beneath the towers. And more pressure. More pressure. Now he has equity on all colors of the board. So he can mercilessly hunt me down. And I have to take care that I'm not stepping in something like a skewer or a fork. So I would instantly lose material. Aha! I block. Okay. But I wonder, couldn't he go here again with his... Oh no, he can. He can and he does. So see, this game is a while ago, but this was a bad move of mine. I just addressed this threat, but I completely forget up, got about he coming just back to the same spot. It is really lucky that this dude is still protected by this ballista. Otherwise I would have lost material instantly. But he's taking advantage of this situation. See, the Equus is pinned. The Equus is pinned. This is the same in chess if there is a very valuable unit behind and the Tribune is the most valuable piece in the whole game. Then I cannot move this. And if I would attack with a Ballista, well, then I would lose material. Or at least momentum. Okay. <laughs> Completely... What's happening here? Max is putting a lot of pressure onto this. And I don't just care. I'm going full forward for the attack, taking here. In a fork, I'm threatening to get the Equus, but if he takes, I can then target the new arriving Equus of him and bringing six pieces of assault power in the direct vicinity of his Tribune, and I tell you what, this is bad news. So what is he doing? He takes anyway. And Hell, I had to take this chance. Now he can take. But not quite. Because this ballista, it's far away. But it's still covering this Equus far behind. But maybe he takes anyway. No. The threat pays off. I'm going closer. I'm going closer. But... Uh, see, this is not a normal or... or just just a, a ordin an ordinary Tribune. No, it's, it's a Sagittarius. Now he behaves like the Archer does. And so he's much more swift. And he's just jumping away. Oh man, what is this doing? I'm still putting pressure on this Equus, pinning it somehow to the Ballista, and pressuring the Tribune and see, he could attack this Ballista. But not really, because in Tribune the attack system works that if you attack with three pieces, you just take three and see, I could re-attack or at least he would maintain his position and then this ballista would just take him. So he has to address this threat and he has to run once more. And there's no way of combining because the complete file belongs to this ballista. And I'm taking again. Now I am really, really taking everything. Trying to win with material. That's usually the way I play this game. And see this ballista comes right back. Putting pressure again here. And onto this Equus. What happened? I just overlooked. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
I'm still up some pieces. I have more material. But I lost four pieces without any reasoning. Ha! Ah, but I could take as well. Crisscrossing. Everyone is slashing down everything. But now he can take because my ballista does not cover this field at all. And so I lost the Equus. But now, kind of a Zwischenzug. I take this. Attack the Tribune. This has status still hangs within just a couple of moves. Everything changed on this board. Oh, dude. We have to... Wow. Just repair a little. And this was... Well... An unfortunate move, I would say. Because now... I can take. And the game has ended. But I'm pretty sure that this game is... Uh, yeah, it is a different game. It's not the game False Friends. Sorry. It is a game Scrambled X. I remember the game False Friends was kind of different and it ended in a different way. So, well, folks, this was hell of a game. In the first part it was kind of ordered, okay? And then everything went to chaos within an instant. Okay, we are through. Uh, but yeah, that's how how Tribune can be and leave alone this unfortunate move just to a point where where the Tribune himself can just slay him down. This this game had some facets about it. Really, really good stuff. Pinning pieces, skewering, forking, and and this jumping and hopping around of the ballista if you remember where it wasn't moving but by combining with units nearby it just changed the color complex and the position and this well this is tribune i hope you guys enjoyed the episode of today next time i hope max is uh, feeling good enough to make another video we will see him in the next week um, until then, check out the description, give us a like, subscribe, and be here next Friday. Uh, you know the drill. See you soon. On Tribune.